everyone, Achiki here, and it is the weekend, so that means it's time for another DCO base showcase here on the channel, and today we are not in my usual setup, <laughs> uh, because I am on the EU side for today's base tour, but before I get into that, I just want to give a shout out to the Base Off Days of Summer live stream uh, that's coming up, so the deadline for entries was yesterday. Uh, so those are closed off, and I'm uh, just tallying everything, making sure I have access to everybody's bases. So the live stream will be Sunday, July 24th, over on my Twitch channel, and it'll start in between 8 and 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, if you need to find my Twitch channel, it's just like my YouTube channel, Achika. You can go over there and just search it. Uh, there's also a link in the description, I will leave, and also above, if you're using desktop on my usual... Um, YouTube channel. I don't know where it's at on phone stuff, though, so I gotta figure that out. But <laughs> anyway, there'll be links. Uh, you can find me pretty easy. Same is spelled as the, the channel name, Achika. A-C-H-I-K-A-H. Um, anyway, yeah, so I hope I, you guys can make it, and if not, the VODs will be re-uploaded to YouTube on Monday. So you guys won't be missing anything. There'll be two. One for EU, one for US, because we have both entries this time. I'm so excited. <laughs> So I hope you guys can make it, and if not, I hope you guys can check out the VOD. Um, so yeah, that, there's that, and then I'll get more into it uh, after, at the end of the tour. So I know this is a long blur, but I just wanted to shout that out for you guys. Um, so anyway, let's get into the tour today. Uh, so we are on the EU side, and we are going to be checking out one of Pentagram 123's bases again. She did the rainforest base that uh was really well received here on the channel a lot of people love that it's a fantastic base if you haven't seen it i'll put a link above uh for you guys to go check it out um but yeah we are going to check out another one of her bases entitled mixed let me see if i can find it here ah yeah vampira that's that's one of her alts so i'll probably entitle it vampira so let's head on over. Oh yeah, it's a manor theme. Cool. All right. It's a short load screen. Let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. All right. Nice. Man, that's a great entry. Look at all the paintings. Oh. This is fantastic. This doesn't even feel like a manor theme, like, when you walk into it. Like, it's just... It's, like, it's open, but also very claustrophobic at the same time. Like, it, I don't know. It just feels like it rearranges the space so well. This is great. Penta's all about uh, symmetry, too, which is really fun in her bases. I like it. I have my Joker backpack on today, so let's, uh, ooh, yeah, let's get up. That's pretty great. Look at that. So many Grecian murals, oh my god. <laughs> Very cool. So we have the Sanguine fountain here with a bunch of Anubis statues. So very death theme oriented. See how that works out. Let's uh, go up top here. I'm gonna use the stairs as we fly. Oh yeah, this is really cool. Nice. All right, let's go on the uh, right side first. And I think it's just yeah, obelisks and paintings. Very nice. Like I would never think to use like paintings like this, but it looks so cool. Like, Penta has a really great way of doing repetition and symmetry in her bases that, like, make everything just look so unique <laughs> and fabulous. Like, look at that. It's like, the pieces don't become pieces, it's just, like, one art piece. Like, one, like, de like decorative design. It's really cool. Very awesome. Alright, let's go this way. Oh, nice! We have the hawk statues, or the uh, the hawk banners with the Horus statues. That's pretty. That's pretty rad. I love that. Ooh, nice little throne room here. Man, dude, those paintings are fantastic in the manor theme. 
Look at that hitbox, dude. Like, they, they clip so clean. Like, into stuff. Like, oh. We need more pieces like that. That's fantastic. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I remember. Okay. I've been in this base before and I remember this. I love this. Look at that. Look at that from back here. I don't know if you know if you guys know what that is, but that's the uh, large painting from the anniversary, the Gotham sewers, and like from back here, it makes it look like it's like a portal. You know what I mean? Like there's, like it actually, like you're actually gonna go into the sewers. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see what it looks like up close. I was in here when uh, she was initially building it, uh, I believe, but I haven't, uh, I haven't been back in since. Ooh. Ooh, I like the little Morgor Cove. That's cool. Using them. Oh, I didn't know you could use them as, like, an archway. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to use that. Pinta, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to give you credit. But, man, I'm going to have to steal that. That's cool as hell. Look at that. Oh! I love that. I need more of that in my life. <laughs> And more Morgwars as we... Yeah, see, this is cool. So, up close, you still don't get the same effect as you do down the hallway. But, man, look at that. Look at that. With the fire and the and the rain coming down. Like, oh, dude. I wonder if you could clip a water, uh, like a waterfall, into the painting itself where the water's coming out. Like, you know what I mean? A small rock waterfall. I wonder if it would stick out enough to, like, give you running water. I'm gonna have to try that now. Oh. Like, see, I, I was really disappointed with those load screen posters when they came out. I mean, they're very cool looking. I love the load screens. Like, especially the Gotham Sewer one, I think, is my favorite. I also like the Heart of Krypton, um, the Steelworks one. Um, I'm trying to think of other ones, but, uh, uh, like the ones that, like, I, I don't really like the super comic booky ones, but I like these, like, a lot. Um,. But man, seeing this used like this like makes me really rethink like using them and getting some when the anniversary comes back around. It's very cool. Alright, so we got like a little pond here and a little town. Ooh, look at that. A well. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I'm not supposed to view behind the veil. I think it's supposed to be like a stay down here situation. Which I understand, like, because you have to if you're gonna go all out like this immersive in a base, um, you're definitely gonna have to compromise on spatial issues, especially in the manor theme. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. I think I'm supposed to break this. Let's find out. Yeah. <laughs> got an altar here. Very cool. This reminds me of uh, Elysian Glory with the uh, Garden of Fallen Heroes. Like, I put, like, uh, it's something that's it's like this. I actually, man, I might put one of those paintings in there at some point, because... Yeah, this is really cool. I like that. I'm going to have to utilize the Greek mural a lot more. Alright, let's go this way, shall we? I don't know. I don't think we're supposed to go through this door. I think this one's just the door. Oh, it's a dead end. Are we supposed to be able to go through there? Maybe I'm supposed to go. I think I'm supposed to go around the other way. So why don't we? Because I think I can go through, right? But whoa, whoa. Yeah, I think I'll go the other way though, because I think this is like don't go this way kind of thing. Even though you can go through, which I appreciate. I want to make sure I'm not missing like a focal point like this one because like if I were to come through from that way here I would definitely have missed the sewer theme that way. So we'll go back this way because I feel like maybe I don't know just intuition tells me to go this way. So let's see what we got on this side. <gasps> Ooh, more hawk banners. Da -da -da -da. Ooh. Ooh cool. I like that. More horror statues and Anubis too. I do appreciate that the at least the antique statue pedestals can fit in these hallways. Like, 
I really wish you could have more dividers in here besides the like luxurious and standard and uh, stone walls. But at least these guys can fit in here. So that's good. Oh. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Oh, neat. Oh, look at all the Buddhas. Oh, yeah, this is very cool. I love it. It's a nice tranquility pond. Very neat. I love the use of this. I think the stack stone walls are my one of my favorite pieces of furniture. They're so, like, simple, right? They're just a block with stone, but it, the size of them and like the the use of them and the texture, they're just perfect for like ancient um, and aged and stonework bases. That you, they're really malleable and lovely. Look at that. There's two rows of them. It looks like into the fire pit. That's cool. And it's th like, see, like this, this had to have taken up at least like 30 spots by itself. Just this one piece. And that's 30 spots out of 750 in a manor theme. So again, that's why space is like compromised. Like you have to pick and choose like where you put your furniture. You can go like full maximalize like I did with Molotov's base. Or you can go like cut off rooms and areas like Penta does like this and go full maximal which is or like uh, you, you get what I'm saying like you can you can either be super immersive or like maximal in details but this is really nice man that's cool I like that all right so we got ooh, ooh look at that there's a little hidden pathway Oh, I wouldn't know, dude. I was like about to go into the other room. Whoa. Okay. Got a grave here. Very cool. Oh man, this is neat. That's really nice. Like my spatial awareness was totally off. I thought that was the back wall. Like a hundred percent. I thought that. Oh, that's neat. Man, I don't usually get tripped up like that. That messed me up pretty good. Well done, Pentha. <laughs> oh, nice. We got another couple Buddhas here. I love that. A nice forest entry here. Alright, it looks like we're getting a little more malevolent here. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Ooh. Hello, dragons. How you doing? Or dragon, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, looks like Brainiac's breaking through into the forest. Seems like the multiverse is collapsing here. That's pretty neat. Yeah, that's rad. And then that'll lead back to where we were. Oh, look at all the Starfield windows. Yeah, this is very cool. Oh, a nice little reflective bench. I like that. I actually like the worn benches way better than the office benches. The office benches just look way too plasticky. The worn ones look like... I don't know, they look like a bench. More benches here. Despite um, the impending doom. <laughs> I'd hate to be sitting on this bench and then that portal. <laughs> <laughs> and then that por the portal opens up right behind you. It's like, oh. Like you're having like a lunch picnic, you know? Or, you know, FaceTiming somebody or you're talking to your colleague. Colleague runs away. It's like, what? What, Bob? We got 15 more minutes, so we gotta make it back to the office. Oh, no. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> uh, that's cool. And I'm pretty sure the back room's closed off. I'm just gonna check for... just to make sure. Yeah. For how much space was used, there's absolutely no way you could probably do anything with the back room. <laughs> Again, you have to pick and choose your battles when you have minimum space and you go this maximal for immersiveness, so I completely understand. 
I'm actually might have to do that with one of my bases here soon. You know what? I am going to end this with that backdrop that I love so much. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> so that was mixed by Penta Graham123 or Vampira666, as I will probably put in the description. So thank you again, Penta, so much for letting me tour your base. It's always a delight. You do such great things with your bases. I absolutely love it. <laughs> so much. And I'm actually, I'm going to have to steal that Morgwar thing. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching. Um, so yeah, Base Off uh, will be streamed again on Sunday, like I said, the 24th. Uh, it'll start in between 8 and 9 Pacific Standard Time, if you guys can make it. And the, the VOD, if not, the VOD will be uploaded to the channel the next day. Um, I don't know about upload schedules. I think I'm going to have one more base on Wednesday. Um, and then after that, it'll be the base off announcement or, uh, for the winners on Friday. Uh, and then I think I might have another one Saturday for you guys. I'm not sure. Um, like I said, life's been a bit chaotic. I've been a bit drained too. So I might take a little reprieve, um, just kind of get my, <laughs> get my bearings, <laughs> get some more sleep. Maybe. I don't know. Everything's good. It's just, uh. Everything's, I'm just feeling a little bit of game burnout is all. But your guys' bases honestly draw me back in, so I'm really happy for the base community. <laughs> it keep, it's kept me on this game for a very, very long time, so uh, thank you for that. So I'm going to try my best to get a Saturday video out as well to you guys. But if not, then, um, actually, I might do a Saturday video for the base off winner. I'm not sure, so... Again, just stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned for all the things. And then the next week will be another announcement video for the next Base Off, which is actually... I'm still workshopping it, but I think it's going to be a shorter one. It's going to be a month contest. But don't fear. Don't worry. Don't feel like it's not enough time. Trust me, if the contest parameters uh, for this one, I think you guys will be just fine for a month's worth of work. So, um... It'll be fun. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, that's it. <laughs> subscribe if you're not subscribed. It helps me out. Um, if not, come back on Wednesdays and Saturdays. That's usually when I upload. Sometimes Monday to now and uh, all that good stuff. And, yeah, be on the lookout for the live stream on Sunday. Can't wait to see what you guys created. So, again, thank you to Penta, and thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.